Hey everybody, Stephanie Brewer here from Kids First Education coming at you with a math in a minute. Today we're going to look at a bar modeling problem or could be called tape diagrams for third grade. Erica baked 189 cupcakes. She needs 257 for the bake sale. How many more cupcakes does she need to bake? Well, let's start with this first sentence. Erica baked 189 cupcakes. Well, we're going to represent that with a rectangle or a bar and say that's 189. We have finished with that sentence, so we're going to line it out. She needs 257 for the bake sale. 257. Is that larger than or smaller than 189? You are correct, it's larger. So we're gonna make a rectangle that is longer and it's gonna be representative of 257. Now, have we finished that sentence? Yes, so now we will mark it out as well. How many more cupcakes does she need to bake? Well, we can see that that would be the difference right here, but we don't actually know what that is. We're gonna approach it two different ways. So a third grader might just write the problem down, 257 minus 189. Um, one of the things that happens with this bar modeling is it keeps children from thinking more means add. Um, it helps them to see what the problem means. So they may do this, 257 minus 189 is 68. Another child might think of it like this, uh, on a continuum of a number line, 189 to 257. They may count back to 200, which is 57, and then they may count back another 10 to 190. Now I have 67, count back one more to 89, so I have a total of 68, and I have the same answer that was obtained from the other method. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my grandson would say. This has been Math in a Minute or Two, coming at you from Kids First Education.